Is my skin too dark? Are my ears too big? Am I too short? Is my nose too big? Is my skin too pale? Do you think I'm fat? Do you think I'm fat? Do you think I'm fat? Do you think I'm, do you think I'm fat? People started getting worried a few years ago as images of size zero runway models and celebrities began to dominate the media. Then, in late 2006, the issue went global. In September, Madrid Fashion Week banned models with a body mass index below the healthy minimum of 18. And in November, Ana Carolina Reston, a model from Brazil, died of complications arising from anorexia. It certainly is true, in fact it's more true than ever, that advertising is the foundation of the mass media. The primary purpose of the mass media is to sell products. Advertising does sell products, of course, but it also sells a great deal more than products. It sells values, it sells images, it sells concepts of love and sexuality, of romance, of success, and perhaps most important, of normalcy. To a great extent, advertising tells us who we are and who we should be. What does advertising tell us today about women? It tells us, just as it did 10 and 20 and 30 years ago, that what's most important about women is how we look. The first thing the advertisers do is surround us with the image of ideal female beauty, so we all learn how important it is for a woman to be beautiful and exactly what it takes. Women learn from a very early age that we must spend enormous amounts of time, energy, and above all, money, striving to achieve this ideal and feeling ashamed and guilty when we fail. And failure is inevitable because the ideal is based on absolute flawlessness. She never has any lines or wrinkles. She certainly has no scars or blemishes. Indeed, she has no pores. Another man, but I won't lose no sleep on that Cause I've got a plan You're beautiful, you're beautiful You're beautiful, it's true I saw your face in a crowded place 